yeah. hit the ball, and uh-huh. that's you know that's really all you need. The rest is chance. Mm-hmm. It's like poker. That's so <laughs> true. That's true. It's a game of chance. It's a game of chance. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, everyone just closes their eyes and hits the tee, <laughs> and then they're like, "Well, I guess yeah. that's good, a good shot." But also, I don't like basketball because it's basically ninety eight percent chance. It's all, it's all chance. I'm sure there's some skill you could develop in terms of like knowing what the ball looks like or whatever. <laughs> right, right, right. Outside right, of right. that, it's mostly luck of the draw. <laughs> You throw it, maybe it goes in, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, that is true. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. Those are words to live by. Statistically speaking, you pair up any two people in the game of basketball and they have a 50-50 chance. If they played, a, if they played an infinite times. amount of games, one person would win 50 times, the other person would win Yeah, that's times. true. So you versus... <laughs> Within an infinite number of games. Yeah. You would have exactly 100 well, so decisions. 50%. Is what yeah, 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 so yeah. if you played LeBron James in basketball... Infinity time. Yeah. Wa- half the time. Half the win. time, I would win. <laughs> yeah. I so agree. That's just it's probability. That, that it's is a flip a, of a coin. That is called a, a mathematical determinant. Mm. A mathematical pro- probabilical et- determination. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. I don't remember the last math I learned. Yeah. If a train leaves St. Louis and another one leaves Cleveland. Mm hmm. And they're speeding towards each other. Yes. At 380 miles per hour. Mm. And they collide. And the one train weighs a million pounds. And the other one weighs two million pounds. And one is filled with feathers. And one of them is filled with feathers. Mm -hmm. But they hit each other so hard that they both go up at the same time. Yeah. And they go into space. Yes. Where there's less gravity. True. But also less friction. <laughs> oh. So now both of the trains are moving through space. At the same speed. At the same but without sp- gravity or but friction. But without. This <laughs> 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 has been a blank spot for your answer. <laughs> This is no question. Then what's going? Then uh, what, what do you think about what's that? What's the deal with that? <laughs> That's pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, Marcus, <laughs> re- did you replace the standardized test with your own question? I thought maybe it was you know I could do it in a way where the children have more fun. <laughs> I thought maybe we should update some of these questions, you know, because of Tesla. Yeah, <laughs> right. The, the trains don't use motors anymore, mm-hmm. so I thought some of the math problems were racist. That's true. Against the students whose parents have Teslas. Mm-hmm. <laughs>